I would like to invite our young worshipers who would like to join me here at the front. Is there any, any young worshiper who wants to join me? Here comes Donovan, Emma, Tori, Cooper. Yeah, that's great. You can come closer. Yeah, that's good. How are you today? Good morning. Are you okay today? Are you enjoying summer already? Yes. Do you have plans for the summer? Yes. Yes. And you say, like, you have something in mind. Not yet. Do you have something in mind for the summer? Mm -hmm. What is that? Um, we're going to Canada. <gasps> you are going to Canada. Mm -hmm. Can I go with you? Mm -mm. No? no. Okay. <laughs> okay. I tried. Other time. Some other time we can try. Well, I have a question for you. Do you, did you see what happened today when we were reading the gospel? Did you hear the gospel today? Do you, read, do you hear the reading the Bible today? You were late. <laughs> you are honest, which is good. Yes. Do you see that we have somebody reading the, the, the Bible for there today? Do you notice our sister Lori, Lori who is standing there? Remember that she was reading the gospel for us using her hands and telling us? Do you know why she did that or why she was doing? Exactly, she's using sign language. She's using the movement of the body to tell the prayer that we are learning. What prayer are we learning these past few weeks? that there was that the lord's prayer cooper that's right the lord's prayer so today we are going to finish we are going to finish with the last three things that are important in the lord's prayer so i'm just going to ask you a couple of questions do you know what prayer is what does prayer mean what do we do when we pray i think you know the answer what do we do when we are praying Are we talking? Mm -hmm. Talking to who? To God. That's right. We pray to God. How often should we be praying? Every day. Every day. Like every day all the time? Yeah. Kind of? Yes? Okay. Well, why? Why do we need to be praying every day? So when we ask the people looking at us what should we pray in every day people they don't give, you, give us an answer because if we are talking to God when we pray when do we want to talk to God every day isn't it well Jesus is telling us that when we pray when we talk to God do you think that Jesus is telling us the only thing that you can do is you take a list of things and say okay God this is what I want I want to ask you for this, for this, for that, for that, for that, for this, for this, for that. Is, do you think what prayer is about? Asking God to do things for us? No, why not? What do you be praying for? What do you pray for? Do we need to ask God things? What kind of things then we need to ask God when we pray? Jesus tells us three things that are important. Are you ready for that? Because you are going to help me to remember this. The first thing is that Jesus says that when we pray, we need to remember that God provides what we need. What do we need to be alive? Water. Water. What else? Hmm? Food. food, right? And Jesus says, when you pray, pray for food, for bread, for everything that you need. But you need to remember that you depend on God. So when you go back home, are you going to eat? Yes. So where does the food that, that you will eat come from? Bread. Yeah? Bread. Bread. Where does it come from? Who brought the food to you? Who brings the food to you? God. God. So God will be at home cooking for you? No. no? <laughs> so who will be cooking for you? And that's what Jesus is remembered. People gives us the, I mean, God gives us the people 
who provide and helps to grow the food, to pack the food, to sell the food, and to cook the food for us so that we are able, and we are going to share it with others. So God, Jesus says, give us our daily bread. The next thing that Jesus says, forgive us our sins. Do you forgive? Is, is it easy to forgive? It's very easy to forgive. Why do you think? No, it's not easy to forgive. You're right. Sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's not easy. But Jesus reminds us that we need to ask God to help us to forgive. Because when we forgive others, we also receive when somebody tells us, I forgive you. If I don't want to forgive others, it's very hard when somebody tells me, I forgive you, because then we don't believe. And if we don't forgive each other, what happens? What happens? We fight. We fight. Do when we ask the congregation if they forgive? Yeah. Do we forgive? Is it easy, is easy to forgive? No, it's hard, right? So we need to pray for forgiveness. And the last thing that Jesus tells us today that we need to pray for is that Jesus says... Uh, lead us not into temptation. Do you know the word temptation? What is that, Cooper? When you feel like you want to do something and you really don't, you know that it's maybe not good to do it. Well, I'm going to tell you a sh very short story that happened yesterday. My wife, Jade, you, some, some of you know her as Pastor Jade, she and I went to, uh, to hike last Friday. So there was a lot of snow on top of the mountain. And when we were, there was these wonderful slopes in the mountain with a lot of snow. And guess what? My wife told me, aren't you tempted to slide all the way from the top to the bottom? <laughs> and guess what I, want, what I was saying inside me? You think I wanted to do it? I was tempted? I was tempted, but then, then you know what happened? There were some people around, and I said, well, if I do it, they will be wondering why this old man is sliding and playing in the snow like that. <laughs> and then we kept going down and down and down, and guess what happened to me? I slipped on the snow, and I went all the way, like 100 <laughs> feet down. And the good thing is I even made a, a turn like this. It was very cool. But then, but then I was thinking, well, that is right. Sometimes we, we are tempted to do things that we know that we are not good for us and good for others. And Jesus tells us we need to ask God to help us not to act like that. So do you see the cranes here that I have here on the table? These are the cranes that I hope that will remind us that when we pray, is when we need to think of the Holy Spirit as a bird that flows around us to bring us together and to remind us the words of the Lord's Prayer. Can we pray together? Can we, can we hold our hands? Or you can open your hands like this, or you can open your eyes and look at the people. And we say, we thank you, God, because you teach us in Jesus that you provide for us all that we need. That you help us to forgive others because you have forgiven us. And that you give us strength so that we do not do the things that are not good for us and for others. Thank you for loving us, even though when we sometimes don't forgive, when we sometimes are tempted, and when we sometimes don't share the bread with others. Help us and change us in the name of Jesus. And we said, Amen. All right. Amen. Let's go back to our seats. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you later when we have communion. Okay?